Right, well, in the grand scheme of things, this is um, as bow number 36. And right behind it there is number 35. Um, I've just finished putting the uh, seat and tank and exhaust and bits and pieces like that on this one. Um, it's had, let's see, what have we done with this one? We've got an aluminium cylinder barrel, which has been shortened by two millimetres. It's got the uh, nine to one American made piston in it. It's got the Hitchcock's competition cams in it, but I've had to retime them to uh, suit my own needs. Um, so the uh, inlet cam is retarded by a tooth and the exhaust cam is actually advanced by a tooth. So the dots on the cam wheels now are two teeth apart. They don't line up. Um, so I'm going to see how that works out. Um, we've got the competition valve springs in there. I've ported the cylinder head. And um, what else have I done? We put a 32mm carburetor on it instead of a 30 uh, obviously opened up the uh, manifold to suit. The uh, entrance to the cylinder head can cope with up to 36 millimetres if uh, ever such a large carburetor was required. So now I'm going to put the uh, camera down somewhere and we'll see for the first time whether it starts and if it does what it runs like. I've also got the uh, primary chain case cover off because I've already marked up this it's got a boyer ignition on it this one rather than points so I'll have to check and if necessary readjust the timing via strobe so that mark there and it lines up with a white dot there is the firing point not top dead centre but the full advance which is about eight and a half millimetres before top dead centre or 35 ish degrees anyway enough of that I'll put the camera down and turn the fuel on and uh, see what, if anything, happens. So, first attempt to start ASBO number 36. So a bit of smoke, um, which I'm not surprised because it was a bit wet some. That sound in the background is a train jogging in. Right, let's see.
Well, it's running. I think I'm going to have to have a look at the ignition timing now. I wouldn't be surprised if that's out a little bit. And notice how when I rev it up, it's a little bit slow to come back down to a tick over speed. I may have to take another look at the cam timings, but I think I'll go for the ignition timing first, make sure all's well with that and see what it runs like and then go from there. We've already turned this down a little, I think. Yeah, it's still a bit reluctant to slow down when you throttle off. I'll work around it, a few adjustments here and there will make that good. But basically, we've got Asbo 36, a runner. It's clearing now, the wet something is getting pumped out. And of course it's got to loosen up because it's got a newly bored cylinder with a brand new piston and rings in it as well. Now we're running about a 10 to 1 compression ratio on this one. I'll get the timing checked out, do one or two other things and then uh, no doubt we'll have another film of it and eventually get a ride on it. I also want to do another ride on... Uh, number 35 behind there because I've now got a 107 needle jet and a 240 main jet in that one as well um, so a couple of rides coming up so that's what we've got for now um, we've got a runner and again it's Friday afternoon it's a nice uh, point to finish off with a nice uh, running bike after a week or more's work on it so I think I'll probably leave it there now and uh, do a few final checks and adjustments on it soon and follow it up with another short video.